How's it going, guys? How's it going, guys? So, so it's day 800 billion of quarantine lockdown, thank you to the coronavirus. And so the big thing that everybody is doing while on lockdown is a lot more cooking and baking and everybody seems to be making their own quarantine bread. So that's what I am going to do today or at least attempt. I have already made one bread, it turned out pretty good, it was a sourdough type bread and the recipe that I'm following today is going to be more of a French bread, which I'm looking forward to a lot because I actually prefer French bread over sourdough. Sourdough I'll eat, it's okay, it's fine, but that's it, it's just fine. French dough though, or French bread, that's where it's at. So let's get started. For this recipe, you will need one teaspoon sugar, one and a half teaspoon kosher salt, two and a quarter teaspoon active dry yeast, one and a quarter cups of water, and two and a half cups of flour. First, you'll take your active dry yeast, pour it into your mixer. Then you add the sugar and the water. For the water, you wanna make sure it's warm water. And then you kind of just let it sit there and chill for about five minutes. So it's been about five minutes. So now I'm going to add my salt. And then I will add my flour. And I'm going to do this slowly and just a little bit at a time. So I have a KitchenAid professional mixer. Uh, with this particular tool, it recommended only to use it on a speed of two. So that's what I'm going to put it up to. We're going to lightly flour, just a little bit of a dusting. You want to do that on all sides. So I'm going to cover it and then leave it to rest in a cool dark spot for about an hour. It's been an hour since I let my dough start to rise. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the bread and I'm going to put it on a floured cutting board and I'm going to sprinkle some more flour on it and pretty much shape my bread. So now I'm going to grab another bowl. I'm going to coat it with flour. And I'm going to grab my bread and place it in the bowl and add some more flour because we really don't want the bread sticking to the bowl. Now this is going to rise for about half an hour. What we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to preheat my oven and this is going to be baked inside of a Dutch oven. So we're going to preheat the oven. It's going to be on for 30 minutes, 
during those 30 minutes we're going to have the Dutch oven inside of the oven so that way it's nice and warm for when we put the bread in. You're going to set your oven to 460 degrees and then let it preheat and then you'll put your Dutch oven into the oven and let that sit and get nice and warm for about half an hour. So this is my Dutch oven. We got it from Target for about $70 with tax and everything, um, which is a lot better than Le Creuset, which is like $300 and it works pretty well. So my bread has been in the oven for half an hour with the lid on at 460 degrees. I'm taking the lid off, putting the bread back in for about another 10 to 15 minutes and that'll help get the crust and then the bread will be done. You ready for the official bread taste test? Yes. <laughs> thank you guys for watching good luck trying the recipe it turned out great we're going to go eat the entire loaf of bread now bye